Alrighty, I'm done with Solstice. I have all three glows and I've gilded the title. I'm just going to record a very, very quick recommendation on how to do all of these things. So no nonsense, none of this. I'm going to try to talk the least amount possible. So you start the event, you're going to do Bonfire Bash. It'll give you all of these event challenges that you have unlocked. I fully recommend from that point working on other triumphs, not Bonfire Bash. Uh, so you can start earning silver leaves and then burn them when you do Bonfire Bash in the future. So we're going to skip to that stuff. Uh, so for instance, I would recommend starting with the Matches in Crucible or Gambit playlist. It's Team Scorch this week. Team Scorched is the fastest Crucible mode. It's like five minute games. Just go do that and that will help you complete a bunch of other times. So you'll do this. You'll earn silver leaves like eight or five a match, something like a ton. Uh, complete playlist activities. This will be done by the time you're done with 10 matches. It'll be super fast, take you less than an hour. Um, defeat opposing guardians in any activity will also be done with that point. And then defeat targets anywhere in the system, defeating guardians awards bonus progress. This will also be done. So you're knocking out four for the price of one. Another tip is that we're almost at 100,000 subscribers and a ton of you are not subscribed. So if you want more videos like this in the future, please consider helping us on the road to 100,000 subscribers, but let's get back into it. After that, you're gonna wanna go run some strikes. So uh, Brightfall, complete Vanguard Ops or Nightfalls to earn Silver Leaves. Regular Strikes Vanguard Ops give you 10%, so you have to do 10 of them. Nightfalls of any difficulty appear to give you 15%. So what I would recommend is running the Hero Nightfall seven times. That will complete this triumph. Uh, that is the disgrace this week. It's super fast. While you are doing this, you will also be getting a lot of Silver Leaves. Now you can only hold a hundred of these in your inventory at one time, so you don't wanna waste them. When you get close to 100, go run some bonfire bashes. Now you only need, it seems like one piece of armor to actually earn the leaves from activities, but when you are burning them in bonfire bash to the silver ash, the more armor pieces you have on, the more you're burning at one time. And so I would wear a full set. It seems to burn 16 leaves and turn them into 100 silver ash. I'm not really sure how all the conversions work. I'm not really worried about it in this video. You can burn up to 100 every single run, and that will give you this one. That will give you ignition carriers because you just do that while you're completing the event. You will stoke the flames. You can get up to 30 every single run. So you need 100 total. Four runs will get you done. Uh, Prismatic Taken, these are random Taken events that will spawn. There are two every single bonfire bash. And during these kind of mini Taken events, there are two yellow bar Taken. Get a bullet on them before they die and it will count towards this. There are two Taken per mini event. There are two mini events per bonfire bash, meaning uh, you need at least four runs if you're killing every single one to get all of those. Four runs is the same here. Collect Silver Ash, you can get up to 100 Silver Ash every single run and you need 350. So once again, a minimum of four runs of Bonfire Bash. Uh, next, we have defeat targets with super abilities and defeat uh, targets with hand cannon, shotguns, rocket launchers. Do those while you are doing your Vanguard strikes. Um, but also you can do those while running Blind Well. And I highly recommend it. Blind Well has the harmony buff, so you're getting your super very quickly. For this, you need two tier four blind wells or tier threes that are supercharged after you beat the boss. They give you 50% each or two of them total and you're getting constant supers. You can very easily get a lot of kills with rockets, shotguns, and hand cannons, complete all of those all at once. All of these are going to give you progress towards the burn them down event challenge where you have to kill 40 bosses. Now, this is very easy to finish after, so don't worry if you're not getting close. What you can do, so first off, you have the in the hot seat challenge where you have to complete activities on Neptune. Do not waste your time with terminal overload or with public events or anything like that. Go find a Nezrak CP. Every time you beat Nezrak, it's 70%. So look on LFG for teams trying to beat Nezrak. Go to Luxtruck server or checkpoint destiny2.com or whatever. Find a checkpoint, get some friends, find some LFGs, run Nezrak twice very quickly. It'll take you like 10 minutes. You'll get the in the hot seat done. You'll get two more bosses towards your boss one. And then you also get yourself some pretty cool raid loot. So that's nice. Then if you're not done with the boss one yet, which you probably won't be, it's fine because your very final one is to complete rounds of Altars of Sorrow or Salvage, just do Altars of Sorrow. All you have to do is a tier one to the final boss. You just do one like iteration of Altars of Sorrow. It will automatically complete this. You'll get a ton of silver leaves and like every round you get like 10 bosses. So you'll very easily complete that last triumph or event challenge as well. So that's how you get all of these. For the guild, it's like even easier than all of that. 
um, upgrade multiple pieces of sunlit armor. This requires you to stock them fully with kindling and get the glows. And I believe it required me to like focus as well and get like the stats. So you have to upgrade them every piece, all four pieces, except for, you know, your class item. Upgrade them all the way with silver ash. Fully stoke the bonfire. That's get 30 in there per run. Uh, complete bonfire bash without dying. Super self-explanatory. And then while wearing your fully upgraded suit or uh, sunlight armor that you get from this activity, complete a dungeon raid, blah, 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 blah. Get a dungeon boss CP. You can do this from anywhere. And you can complete Du and Karu. That's what we did. It takes 10 seconds. You can do any of the bosses and it will automatically complete this. This event is very, very easy. It won't take that long. I hope you guys found this video very useful. If you did, make sure to share it with your friends, leave a like rating, consider subscribing. Have a fantastic day and I'll see you very soon.